that one area in the tropics to watch, which is now being uh, designated Invest 99, which means computer models will be run on it. Earlier satellite presentation had a very impressive looking system. Nothing has really changed in the thinking. 30% chance low end uh, threat of it becoming a named storm. Maybe a depression, maybe. Right now it's looking fairly decent, at least in terms of the outflow. In other words, the thunderstorm development have somewhere to go in the upper parts of the atmosphere. Again, we really have not seen any dramatic change in thinking. Most of the models keeping this as somewhat of an unorganized system. There will be a brief window before it moves inland, probably early morning on Sunday. So really later tomorrow night, once it emerges into the Bay of Campeche Caribbean, maybe we see something happen because by early Sunday morning, the center or main energy is already inland and that'll be the end of any kind of real development. As I said, computer models are just now starting to run. And what is interesting, as more data comes in, a lot of the models have been going even a little bit farther south at one time it looked maybe more South Texas. They're kind of trending a little bit more south of that as well. Here's the reason why and what may be happening with this system. In the near future, it'll continue moving towards the north and west. Wind shear will be present on the eastern side. This wind shear might actually help to allow for those storms to kind of billow up and move away. That's what may help to organize the system in the near future by Friday night and into Saturday during the day. By late Saturday into Sunday, as the center nears land, wind shear is going to be increasing. This is also keeping it away from us. And also with this stronger wind shear, maybe why a lot of the models are indicating it stays a little bit farther south of us. The upper pattern, these upper troughs, which have been bringing in the one stalled front over us, that's all been helping us out. This keeps anything in the Gulf away from us that even tries to develop that frontal system.